Hello Mackenzie's from sunny Florida. I bet you're a little warmer than I am right now. I'll do a quick walk around on the outside. It is the Georgetown 364, so you have a fiberglass roof. These are your side view cameras, which is nice here because you don't have the blind spot. Usually they're up in the up in the mirror. There's a blind spot here, so you have full view down the side of the coach. Right here is gonna bring your propane tank. We're going to have here, we're going to have access to the chassis. Storage, if you look inside there, it's pass through storage and it's roto line, so you can wash out if you want to. Your generator should be here. It's a, owned by Cummins 5500, which is the best generator they make on the market. This is going to be your, your whole house water filtration system and your outside shower. And it's going to be your dumps your dump space as well come back to the back you have your your fuel fill this is going to be your a little bit of storage and also your 50 amp service and again it has pass through if you can see down there mr camera there's pass through down there and your ladder to get into the bunks it goes all the way through so fishing poles whatever you guys do down in florida if you some more long long space you have it there it's going to be another um black water flush station for your second bathroom in the back again we can walk around the back here's your ladder to get onto the roof there's a black partial paint with gel coat this one here is just inside if I take this out there's uh, water connection hoses in there that's just for protection to keep debris out of there again the other side of the storage, plenty of storage there. Again, protected coverings to your water valves. Again, same thing. You have two bathrooms plus your kitchen. Got water heaters. Other side of your storage, there's also a, a, a GFI outlet in there for anything outside that you'd want to do. More storage. And then here is this is going to be your, your uh, house batteries right here. Now you have your outside TV, it's your sound system. If you notice up here, you're going to have your this is going to be your awning. It comes from the side. There's LED lights up there. And also, all the slides are going to have slide topper awnings. So when the slide comes out, you're not going to get any leaves, debris, I guess palm leaves down there for you guys. Um, so now we'll walk up inside the coach and I'll have it closed up so you can see what it's like as you're driving. Welcome there, Mr. Cameraman. And I checked the mileage, it has 40 miles on it. To the left of the dashboard is the automatic leveling system you're worried about. It's right there, push button start. Now these these chairs do swivel around, so when the slides open, you have more seating area. As you walk to the back, this you have your re reclining chairs right here. Your undermounted stainless steel sink, dual bowls, heavy solid surface countertops. And then you're gonna have some storage space up above the bunk that you were asking about the first three the three doors there. Your TV comes here. If you look behind there, you're gonna have some storage space there. Storage, drawer, drawer, storage, all storage here. There's a place for your trash can, your oven, a stainless steel. And it's enclosed so it's easy to clean. Stainless steel microwave, your residential refrigerator, dinette seating area with more storage up there. So I'm going to shut it off for right now. I'm going to open the slides up and get to the rest of the coach for you, okay? Give me a few seconds. So we got the slides. Okay, so we have the slides opened up for you. As you can see, there's no carpet in the coach. So when you get the sand and stuff from the beach, you can sweep it out, out quickly and easily. So we just walk to the back here, we're passing a residential refrigerator with a with a ice ice machine, water, and the freezer on the bottom. These are your bunk areas. Um, top bunk obviously, bottom bunk, storage drawers underneath. You have a TV on both of them. Um, and then this 
you know, is a great a great place for storage as well if you don't have any grandkids or people sleeping with you. Your control panels here for all the slides. And as we walk back here, Mr. Cameraman, you can just pop your head in the bathroom. So you have your first bathroom there for all your guests to use. Fully functional. And as we come to the back bed area, um, this is going to close off completely if you wanted it to. Um, for privacy, just take these out, pull these doors over, and voila, you're gone. Uh oh, I got stuck there. There we go. Oh, can't see me. As we come to the back, you're going to have your wardrobe over here. If you do want to have um, more storage here, I believe you can put a washer and dryer there if you chose to. I could be wrong about that though. Storage, drawers underneath, like I said, plenty of storage space. Your king size bed, and you have your cross, your cross action windows which you can open up so you can get that nice breeze from the ocean if you're down there and it's not too hot out. And if he pops his head into the back of the bathroom, this is your private bath area back here. Um, you're going to have your shower, your, your toilet, obviously, your sink. And look at this, more storage space. And there actually would be your, your, your uh, washer dryer combo area, not in the bedroom, but right back here. It's prepped for it already if you want that. And again, storage space down there. So again, as we come back, your TV, your nice open floor plan, plenty of space, plenty of storage. Be a great unit for the beach or for horse days or whatever you guys do down there for fun. So I'll get this sent off to you right away and hopefully we can get it going, okay? Have a great day.